Hey guys, this is Whitney, and welcome back to another episode of Spastic Chatter. Spastic Chatter is a platform meant to feature those in the cerebral palsy community, and I get together weekly with individuals with CP, like myself, to have a kind of uncensored chat, if you will, about what it's like living with this type of disability. And for this week's episode, I have a Zach. And he ran into the show wanting to share his story. And he has a pretty awesome story. He's uh, going to school to become a licensed pilot. And he's an Eagle Scout. So this week we're going to learn more about him. And I will let Zach take it away with his introduction. Hey guys. Um, I'm Zach. Like Whitney said, I'm I'm uh, training to become a pilot, and I'm also an Eagle Scout. So, yep. Very cool. Um, I want to I want to take it I want to take it back to your childhood, Zach. What was it What was it like for you growing up with cerebral palsy? Cause we're all di- we're all different. It was what was it? Yeah. Um. I say by about the fourth grade, I I started to have to use a walker to get around school and stuff. Yeah. So did you have? Did you have a? Did you have? Did you have a lot of friends? Did, did, uh, I know when I know when people ask me this question, I'm like, I'm like, well, my childhood was pretty normal. Like I was just a normal kid. Like, was it kind of like? Was that kind of like how yours was, where you had a lot of friends, you still did activities, and things? Yeah, like that. I, yeah, I, I, I hung out with friends and stuff. Very cool. So, when did you, when did you get when did you start getting into like uh, the don't you start out as a boy as a boy scout and then you work your way up to Eagle Scout? Yes, I did. Oh, how how did that how did that how did that process go? When did when did you get into Boy Scouts? I started at eleven years old, and um. I I just worked up with the ranks to get up to Eagle Scout. How do you how do you work up the ranks for someone that doesn't know? Like I'm a girl, you have to. I don't yeah. I don't know any of that. I don't know any of that boy stuff. You, how do you work up? How do you work out the up the ranks for that? Um, there are different requirements for each. Rank like one rank um it's been so long. Um, yeah, you can just give me a like a like a overview. Like, don't you have do you have, is it? I don't. I, do you have to like you know? Is it like Girl Scouts where you like earn patches for different stuff or? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What did you like? So like, is it like all the world, kind of like the wilderness stuff, sort of? Some, yeah, there is that, but there are others like cooking and all of those things. That's awesome. So, you're 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 wanting to become a licensed pilot. You want to you want to tell me how you got started in that and like, um, just like um. Why you wanted to become a pilot? Uh, yeah. Um, well, I want to become a licensed pilot because my dad is one and I want to be kind of like my dad. That's cool. So your dad's a good, your dad's a positive role model for you? 
Yeah, and I'm another inspiration for me to become a pilot with um, Neil Armstrong. That's, a, that's awesome. Very cool. So do you have to have, um, again, I'm, I'm just curious and yeah. kind of ignorant when it comes to this. When it comes to being a pilot, do you, do you have to have, like, do you have to have, like, head controls to, like, to, like, be able to, like, steer the, like, is there any ad adaptations you have to do for that kind of stuff? There are some around, but, but we don't want to get into that mess right now. Yeah. Very cool. And you wrote, you wrote in saying that you're, uh, going, that you're going to college right now? Yes, I am. That's awesome. So have you, have you started a new semester? i just about to, I'm starting next Monday. You are? That's, that's cool. What, what is it? How many, what is this semester you're going into? Is it like, it's not your freshman. It's no. Not your freshman, yeah. I think it would be like my third year, I think. Oh, that's awesome. So what is your, what is your major? What are you studying? Uh, pro flight. Oh, yeah. Um, well, yeah. Um, that makes sense, huh? Um, uh, so, so, uh, what, have you, have you, what would you say, have you got any, any, like, negative comments about you wanting to become a, wanting to become a pilot? And if so, how did you, how do you handle those? I've, I've got people saying stuff like, that's crazy or whatever. Yeah. And I just say to them and say to myself, watch me. Yeah. That's cool. We have this we have the same mindset. So um what kind of I at the end of at the end of each interview I ask my guests if they have any advice for others. So say there's a person with a disability that wants to become a pilot, what advice would you give them? I would say go for it, go for it. Oh, also find a great instructor that is patient with you and pushes you because that, that is pretty big for me and, and don't let anyone say anything bad about you yeah well that's that's very that's very cool that you bring up a good point that we all need we all need to find that to find that person that really supports us and that's that's for anybody that's if you have a disability or not like we all need to find that that right person that supports you and encourages your dreams. Um, yes. Do you have Do you have anywhere where people can follow your journey, Zach? Like on social media or anything? Yeah. Like that? I'm on Facebook. Z a c k r e i s i n g. Okay, cool. Then, then I'm on Twitter. I don't post a lot on there. Um, that all caps Ace Flyer One Eight. Okay, I'll I'll put that I'll put that in the description for people that want to follow you. And thanks, thanks oh. again. Or, you got you got something else you want to say? Yeah, um, I've got a YouTube channel. Oh, you do? Yeah, it's called 
rising my last name, rising aviation. Awesome. Well, I, well, I will find that and put all that in the description. Or if you want to email it to me, I'll put it in the description of this video so that people can find you. Yeah. Uh, well, well, thank you again for uh, for wanting to be on an episode of Spastic Chatter, and I really enjoyed talking with you. And I think you can uh, motivate your story. Can motivate uh, other people. They uh, they don't want to pursue their dream. Pursue their dreams. So thank you again. And for those of you watching, if you want to be on an episode of Classic Chatter, there's always a there's always a link in the description. And until next time. Or check back next week for another episode of Spastic Chatter. Thanks, bye.